Hello, social psych students. My name is Frank McAndrew. Many of you already know me because you took Psych 100 with me uh, at some point in the past. For those of you that don't know me, I'm glad to meet you now. Um, I apologize for the situation we're in. Uh, you signed up for what I think is one of the most interesting subjects uh, there is to study, social psychology, and the term is not at all what you might have hoped it would be. And there's a little less than two weeks left and I'm going to try to make the two weeks as productive for you as I can. I've talked to some of the students in the class, and my understanding is that so far, you have taken two very short quizzes, a few multiple choice questions, and that's it. Um, you had one written assignment that you have not received a grade on yet, and you took a midterm exam um, that at least some students don't appear to be too happy about. So here's how we're going to proceed. I'm going to take the written assignment that you turned in and the two quizzes and bundle them together in one grade. And everybody in the class will get a 95% for that, a good solid A. I'm going to give everybody in the class a 95% for the midterm exam. I don't have access to the scores on that test. And given what's happened this term, I'm not so sure we would want to weight that that heavily anyway. So. Um, each of you at this point has a solid A in the class based on the 95% you're getting for those two units. Now in the two weeks that are remaining in the class, I'm going to have you read a chapter for each of those weeks, and then there will be a multiple choice test at the end of each chapter. Uh, I haven't made the tests up yet, obviously, but they'll probably be about 25 questions, maybe 30 questions or so in length. And I'm going to equally weight the scores on each of those two tests and the two previous scores so that for half of your grade in the course, you have a 95%. And then what your final grade in the course is will depend upon what your score on those final two tests are. The tests will be uh, multiple choice. They will be open book and open note, but there will be a time limit. So you do need to study for these as if it's not an open book test because most of the questions will not be things you can just look up the answer to. And um, so you need to be organized and have your act together before you do the test. The one rule that you do need to pay attention to though is uh, even though it's open book and open note, you are not to be in communication with any other students in the class about taking the test. I'm not going to try to do anything uh, synchronously. There are too many of you. You're scattered all over the world, literally, uh, and things are just too disorganized right now to have time for us to make that work. So I'm going to be posting, um, I will send you on email, some links to PowerPoint slides that I will narrate and the chapters that I'm going to put all of this in writing in an email as well. But we're going to finish up the course by using the last two uh, chapters that Andy had listed on his syllabus. We're going to do chapter 11, Attraction and Intimacy, and then we're going to do chapter 12, Helping Behavior. And um, you will take a quiz or a test at the end of each one of those. Okay, so um, I'm going to send this video out right now. I will then compose a more organized email uh, where I lay out the policies for the course and what we're going to do and how things work but I just wanted to let you know that I'm on this. We are gonna get it together. Things are gonna happen and uh, we'll try to make the best of the rest of the term. So um, I look forward to working with you. Please send me an email if you've got any questions. Um, I will be having some virtual office hours as well. I'll post those to you in my email. Take care.